may have lost their father, their husband, their loved one, their son, but um, they've gained the, the larger Cincinnati Fire Department and the larger um, family of the, fire, for the firefighters, the firefighting community. A husband and father, now one tri-state family, is in mourning after a firefighter lost his life in a head-on collision early this morning. His department is now doing all they can to be there for each other and for his family, saying they want to make his wife and kids, quote, want for nothing. Not on your sides, Roseanne Aragon joins us live from Station 12, where he worked. Roseanne? Julie, his colleagues described him as a man that lifted others up even during the hardest of times. He worked here at Station 12. Behind me, you can see a bereavement flag, the flag in purple and black, letting the public know that the department is grieving the loss of their brother, their fellow firefighter, a man they want to honor. We can strive to be the best person that we can be, no matter what. Um, you've got to look at the bright side of life, and you've got to keep your faith. It's the lesson these firefighters learn from their brother, 31-year-old Jordan Panizic. Words they need now more than ever. While uh, reporting to work this morning, he was hit and killed on uh, Winton Road. It's never good. It's never good when you get that phone call. Panizic served on the department as a firefighter and paramedic since 2009. Police say he was on his motorcycle around 6 this morning when a car crossed the center lane on Winton and hit him. Certainly when they were responding, they had no, no idea that this is, this is what they would encounter. He died. The normal crew that he would have worked with is on duty right now. That's what Jordan would have wanted. And that's what, um, that's what firefighters are. That's, that is what, that's what we do. He was a father of three who sacrificed to save others. He was a, a man that was very, um, very sure of his convictions and uh, very, uh, a man of faith. Really came out just in how he carried himself and how he did his job. Panizic celebrated his son's first birthday yesterday. His other children are three and six. Very young kids that um, are going to grow up with, without having their father. But a man this community won't forget. They may have lost their father, their husband, their loved one, their son, but um, they've gained the, the larger Cincinnati Fire Department. Members of Engine 35, where he worked before, left a message on Facebook saying, we miss our brother and friend. Rest easy, brother. We'll take it from here. Again, it's a message that shows just how loved he was and the impact he had on this community. Reporting live, Roseanne Aragon, 9, on your side.